All right, guys, first off, thank you so much for joining me. Um, back kind of where it all started, where people started to figure out that the three of you guys were going to be special players. Um, I know we were talking before, this is the first time that all three of you guys are back here together in this gym, right? Yeah. How does it feel? Kind of surreal, you know? A lot of memories in this place. A lot of wins. So let's go back to Glenburn a little bit back in the day. When did you guys all first meet? I came to Glenburn end of first grade year. Um, and then Bryce, of course, joined us in the beginning of sixth grade year. So I'd known Isaac for a little longer and Bryce just hopped in and he just stepped right into it just like, like he'd been here. The, uh, the community support, you know, was pretty overwhelming when I moved in here. Uh, I didn't really know very many of them at the uh, beginning of the season, but um, the beginning of the year. And uh, during summer, uh, we had this basketball clinic run in Glenburn and we all attended it and we all became pretty good friends right away and uh, just our friendship grew from there. What's your, all your individual favorite memories of you guys playing on the court in middle school together? Favorite memory? I mean, do you want, are you going to talk about your dunk at Ellsworth on a Connor Crawford? Because like that was, <laughs> that was pretty dope. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty, I actually had forgotten about that one, but yeah, that's probably, probably my best middle school memory. I remember a player from GSA, Max Masterman, was in the crowd, and uh, you know, I just, their point guard was dribbling, and I just picked his pocket and went up for a one-handed dunk, and Connor Crawford's gonna hate, hate me for this, but he tried to jump with me, and I happened to put it down. Uh, but yeah, that was, that was pretty special. This is a picture of all you guys. When you see this, and you guys look at it now, I guess it's different to see it in person. What, is, what, do, you, what do you see? What's it like? <laughs> No, it's eighth grade. That's eighth grade. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. You got. It's a cat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my. I think what stands yeah. out is how is that Isaac looks like a man, and all you guys look <laughs> like little boys. <laughs> we look like children. I forgot my basketball shoes on this day. I'm wearing my wear on my beater oh, what? Yeah. My beater blue blue shoes. I remember my, my shoes there. You customized yeah, like. I they were so tough. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. I think it was our sixth grade year. We, were, we thought we were so cool. We bought like, I was Superman. I was wearing Superman socks to the games. Yeah, I, I, I was Batman. I was Batman. Yeah. Did they have the cape hanging off of them? The cape no, 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 we, we weren't that extra. <laughs> also thought all three of us, it was our seventh grade year. We thought we were so dope because we went online and we all ordered super, super sick shoes, but they were fake. And they were, they were like, and they were like, they were like mad plastic and just broke after the first week, but we thought we were the coolest things because yeah. we all had like LeBron what those. And yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> I posted mine on Facebook and Brandon Glidden from Brewer is like, bro, those are so fake. And then I was like, <laughs> and I was like, no, they're not. And then... So plenty of hardware also in Glenburn. How many championships did you guys win? I think there's three, three banners up, three. So in sixth grade, how, how many's on the back of my shirt? Six. So we won six in sixth grade, um, two in seventh grade, and three in seventh grade. Three in seventh grade, and I want to say seventh and eighth grade. So, yeah, we were, uh, you know, a very, very well-rounded group, consistent. Uh, you know, we love to work. That's that's something people, uh, you know, don't realize is that we're three of the hardest working guys around, and that was definitely a pinpoint of why we were so successful is because we love to work. Just uh, all of that success, just what did it mean to you? And now looking back on it, um, how special is it? I mean, it's like you don't hear about it that much, it's like a team being able to do that, and it's kind of like legendary, you know, now. It's just crazy to be a part of that. Yeah, I think we definitely set the Glenburn record. Uh, so be able to have a piece of history that hopefully, if we're still in the air, we can come back to this town and look, look at the banner and just see the two championships out of the three years that we got. Uh, I think it's pretty special. Has it kind of kicked in that you guys are kind of built a legacy and built uh, really what is a three year stretch that might not ever happen at this school yet. Has it kind of kicked, kicked in yet? Because you're still in high school and you're still trying to build your own legacy there. But I mean, when you go to the grocery store and people know who you guys are and they're like, oh, like I remember watching you in middle school. Like, has that kind of resonated yet? In, uh, in eighth grade, we all had the same math teacher. We were all in the same class. And I remember she said something at the end of the year that stuck with me. And she said, um, you know, you guys, the three of you, the, you know, what you built here is going to stay forever and it probably will never happen again. Having three players of your caliber go through and just dominate and, uh, and be so successful in now our high school careers. So that's definitely stuck with me. Also to add to that, Mark Reed actually came to Glenburn. And uh, so 
be able to see him move on and go to Liberty University as a basketball player in college and then be able to make the comparison of when he played here and then when we played here. Um, not trying to brag, but Miss Levitt, who's been teaching here a long time and was here when Coach Reed was here, said that uh, our team was better. So, uh, so that's, that's something I had to put in there. So. Does Mark know that? Um, not yet, maybe, but <laughs> we've, we've definitely had conversations before. You know, uh, we've got the old, old rims here, and he's like, oh, those are the same ones that we had back when I was in middle school. So it's, it's just neat to be able to have the conversation about that. Now, my, the thing that I wonder, and I think that a lot of people wonder, is when you guys were in eighth grade, was there any discussion of playing together? Because I think that people are always asking, what if you know the three of them stayed together and played at Bangor, Hamden, or Herman? Um, was there any discussion, or did you guys all kind of come to the understanding that you all wanted to go your separate ways? Yeah, I mean, we definitely all had kind of like different pull factors. Like for me, Bangor, I, I'd known Coach Parker for a little while, and they had a STEM program, whereas a lot of surrounding schools didn't. So that was kind of like what I was focusing towards and what my parents liked. You know, I actually just had the conversation with actually all three of our trainers, Matt McKenzie, about it. And uh, it would have been, you know, a trifecta for main teams to play against. Henry, last year, a state championship. Um, Isaac, for you, two years ago, state championship. Still in the making. In the making. <laughs> still missing it. Um, do you guys talk amongst one another about that, and it, do they kind of, do they kind of, you know, poke at you a little bit that you're missing that gold ball? Not really. Uh, you know, I'm just happy for them and that they've been able to accomplish that and uh, been striving for that this year. So hopefully, we can get the job done now. But it'd be pretty cool to come back one day and think that we all have gold balls and we're all, you know, successful.